Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching this review of the New Tech TC1 product. My name is Ron Vargas. I'm, I'm Alan Sakyan. Hi, Alan. We produce a show here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I personally have been uh, a professional technical director using the New Tech product since 2011. I've used uh, all of the models. Uh, the, the 860, the 460, the uh, Mini, the 8000, and as mentioned, we purchased the TC1 about a year ago. Doing this review kind of shoots my, I shoot myself in the foot because I'm friendly with people that sell the product, I'm friendly with people that rent the product, and I'm friendly with production houses that use this product professionally. So it's not going to do me any good by keeping it real uh, for anybody interested in purchasing the TC1. Um, I understand there's a special that New Tech is running where you trade in your old New Tech and get up to $7,500 if you trade it in for a TC1. And I just want to uh, be clear about the new tech product, all of the products in theory. It's a wonderful product. It says it does so much. And they have uh, big props to new tech on their marketing department. They're selling these new tech TriCasters. However, in practice, everything that it says it does, it really can't do. Uh, on a professional level, if we have the budget, we're going to have to use a separate component to encode the live stream. We're going to have to use a separate component to record. Wherever we can use a backup component, we get. We can't use everything that the TriCaster says it can do uh, for primary. We, we definitely need backup to do this. If you're looking to get into video production as a hobby, then maybe you can get the new tech products because it's a toy. But if you're going to buy it professionally where anything really matters, if you're going to be hired out to use this product at its fullest capacity, it's not going to deliver. The most recent event that the TC1 was hired to do was the Maker Faire Bay Area Festival in, uh, here in the Bay Area. And I was hired to use it specifically for its NDI capacity. And we had uh, all four SDI inputs uh, being used and we used uh, six uh, NDI sources using the new tech spark. Uh, the problem that we encountered using this was processing. It seemed like the TriCaster was too taxed a little bit too much to handle what we were doing. Granted we weren't using the built-in encoder which can deliver to two or more uh, content delivery networks in theory. But we've ran into problems uh, throughout the year that we've used this uh, with, with that concern. But we just do it for our show simulation. We're really not using it to its fullest capacity. When we try to use it to its fullest capacity, we run into problems. The NDI scan converter, which replaces the IVGA component where you can see um, laptop uh, or, uh, or uh, it, it just it, it, it doesn't, it's not dependable. It works sometimes in real time and other times it, it doesn't. But this has been the problem with all of new tech products from the get-go. What it says it can do and what it actually can deliver, it's a little misleading. There are other, um, there are other video switches that you can buy. I strongly recommend the Blackmagic components where you get separate uh, encoders, separate recorders, a separate video switcher. They just divide it all up. But this whole uh, mobile truck in a box theory that New Tech sells itself on, um, don't be fooled. It's, it's not that good. Uh, even the New Tech cameras that uh, work with the PTZ controller in the New Tech, it's, it's, it works marginal. It's, it's, not, um, it's not exceptional. You know, you wanna, uh, you're going to get what you pay for, uh, for the most part, uh, with the New Tech camera. Uh, as far as the, the new tech uh, product itself, you're, you're going to pay a significant amount of money, but you're really not getting um, the best component to use. So we're using it 
we're using the TC1 right now, a simple um, recording. We're not, enco we're not encoding. We're not going live. We, we trust it to do that. But the more you want to use the TriCaster for, the less dependable it's going to be. Did I miss anything, Alan? So Ron Vogus is a preferred technical director here in the Bay Area, and he's been doing this mo the latter, mostly the latter part of his life. And I myself have been hosting the show simulation that Ron produces and directs, and we have purchased this TriCaster TC1. So within my lifetime, I've only spent about a year and a half using the TriCasters and aiming to use their the connectivity of adding additional cameras and doing this multi-camera live stream technology. And some, some of the things that I can par, par, uh, mention along this review are that initially when this uh, purchase occurred that I figured that by spending f upwards of $40,000 on the equipment that we were putting um, together that it would be like if you bought a Tesla and that the Tesla was to be able to adequately drive from destination to destination with 100% accuracy. But for some reason, sometimes with the new tech technology, and we understand that it's hundreds of engineers and that are really trying to build this, this technology together, and it's pretty good, but it would be like if the Tesla was to occasionally malfunction in the middle of the highway or the street, and you would have to stop with the Tesla and then say, oh, okay, now I have to call into support and I can't even really call and I have to chat into the support. And then there's a, a really strenuous process with that. So you can really understand if you're trying to spend tens of thousands of dollars on something like a Tesla or a new TriCaster, they should be in almost 100% performance category. Just a couple of the other things that we've experienced with this technology. Um, when we first, Ron mentioned this, when we first bought the system, we also bought Nutex NDI PTZ cameras. And they, uh, to say the least, um, they had a lag uh, when we were switching between uh, cameras on their system. And it was a very noticeable lag, and we had to return those and get JVC PTZ cameras instead because there is no lag with those cameras, and we are not using the Well, NDI we're not using them through using the, the TriCaster. We're just, as I mentioned earlier, we're using a separate component. And as Alan had mentioned, you know, we purchased this uh, new tech NDI PTZ system, uh, believing in its efficiency. And I sold Alan on this idea, and I, I definitely uh, retract everything I said as far as purchasing uh, this gear. It didn't deliver as it said it would. So there's a couple, one, one more, another really pressing thing is that basically from the time in March, of 2018 until what was it six months later maybe even longer nine months later it took us a really long time to be able to have the audio and the video sync when we live stream to facebook and youtube at the same time so going to two content delivery networks had we had an issue with audio <laughs> video sync for six to nine months in 2018 until finally we were able to work and it was it was a very strenuous process working with their team trying to figure out what the issues were working with the person that sold us the TriCaster as well and I just don't wish that process to any content creators I wish for a content creator that wants to buy something like a Blackmagic or, or a new tech system like Ron said the older systems have had greater amounts of efficacy and the issues that Ron has, Ron's bringing up with what happened at the Maker Fair, it's not just happened at just the Maker Fair, it's been happening at several of the technical, the higher end technical events that uh, Ron has went and, went and produced. And using the TriCaster in its fullest capacity. Any events where we use the TriCaster minimally, as mentioned, and just get separate components, it works fine. So we, we get that it's, it's hundreds of people that are trying to engineer this technology. It's like trying to engineer a Boeing 747 or like I said, a Tesla, like it requires big teams of people that are working their asses off. But at the same time, just don't market that the NDI PTZ cameras are so ex exceptional. The most complete production on the planet, is that what they say? Yeah, yeah in theory, but in practice, no. 
So let's wrap it up here. That's enough. We uh, would have loved to have all the components here working to its fullest if we had the time and the patience. Uh, however, we don't. So wrapping it up, if you want to buy the new tech product, if you're going to use it as a hobby, go right ahead and work with them as uh, they are uh, beta test. Uh, their products. But if you're going to purchase it uh, for a professional capacity, look into other products. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone. Good luck.